Hey, what's up, guys? So today we have um, Rogue versus Demon Hunter. So we're gonna put Bugby Galakrin and if you slash her up to be a bit too happy, I'll keep the shield of Galakrin just for the info. Although it's a, a five drop, and you get the fire card to start off and the dragon sword. So I play the fire card. So, I probably just hear about uh, Clear the board, and it's really important to keep this board clear with the Demon Hunter because, you know, essentially it's going to be going at my face, so I just need to make sure and keep the board clear, uh, mitigate as much damage as possible so that, you know, I just don't straight up die. Because it, it, it's, it's so crazy. How Demon Hunter can do so much damage, especially with the Skull of Gul'dan, so um, there I go, I continue to clear the board. And I'm thinking, um, probably next turn, play the 2 drop, play the bot, um, you know, invoke, create with Prey Skull Ekran, and hopefully I get a good lucky. And you know, ideally, um, the taunt would be the best one, but um, I got the Ethereal Lucky, so let's see what spell we got. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking Panda to, to keep the board clear, or maybe Clever Disguise, but even if I take the Vendetta, I don't have any, I don't have any cards from another class to make it zero, and 4 mana is, is really hefty. You know, but I take it anyway, in the hopes that maybe if I play Dragon Horde, I could probably get like a legendary from another class. So it goes high beam, and when it comes back, you know, it, it could make like a pretty easy clear. Yeah, um, I was hoping that at least, you know, one would have survived so I could play Faceless Grab to next day, maybe. Establish some tempo on the board, but you know, you clear the board, so I'm, I'm just gonna go to Shield of Galakrond and I get the base warden, which is actually very important in this matchup because, uh, well, you know, to place a lot of demons, and especially um, if he plays the Seater Overseer and uh, he has the walk leaves, you know, he, he has the ability to produce lots of um, lots of Seaters, and because. Um, the waste water targets the specific tribe and there's 3 damage to all the minions of that tribe um, it means that once, once I play I can clear the whole board if he has a, a seat over seer team but he's most likely going to go play pound out up here and um, play my shield of Galakron um, fortunately I have the one drop lucky to play any piece less corrupt uh, so it's an easy clear for me and I can also take tempo on the board so I'm thinking next thing I'll, I'll probably bring down the, the card to defender. Maybe play Dragon Sword, see what I got. It all depends on um, what he does this turn. So he plays the war games. Um So he could push damage to face and um, kill the, kid, the faceless corruptor. So if I play the, the card to defender, um, once he doesn't play Kane. Um, it would be pretty um, good for me. So I'm looking at these options from the Dragon Sword. I'm, I'm thinking um, the Kane would be good to push damage. Um, the Six Trap would be good as a Tones, but I mean, I only have one Tone minion in my hand, so it's not really that beneficial. So I choose the Malagos um, Dragon Aspect. So I'm hoping that um, because I have the Dragon Queen Alex Shrazer, it's his actor, so. I'm hoping that I could actually get like a pretty good spell. Um, maybe the upgraded flame strike or even the fireball. But I guess when the time comes, we'll see when you play it. Um, so there he goes with this color cool gun. So this is where you know I really have to worry because if he gets like a crazy turn with Altrius, it's it's it usually you know destroys the board. You know it's really good for tempo on his side but 
also I, since I took the model was uh, my band that is also not zero so if it brings the ultras like a flat I mean I also had the base one so that's not much I'm gonna see so you can see card to defend though um, I get a block track stunner and I have the bamboo so the good thing is even though I play the demagos I still get a mage card as this spell so um, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm gonna take Malagos's explosion because you know if he brings down um, the seats over here just just as a back backup to the waste board and you know if he brings down two in a tin but I mean he is one war place already so I mean you know he could play another war place but um, I still take it as backup as I'm, I'm pretty confident that I have enough um, damage in my hand with the dragon queen and the, the zero cost dragons to um, you know to, to have enough damage on board to take take charge but um yeah so I, I basically took the Imagus's explosion just to control the board. So let's key a strike. Um so he's he's holding the cards from um from Skull of Gul'dan. So he's he's up to something. Okay, so he has a clip on that up. So I have defend that to, to clear the clip on that up. And it's zero course, so I'm thinking I might probably go Dragon Queen Alex Shaz with this team. Um and that would definitely um that would definitely allow me to take charge. I see the dragons I get. So I get a crease, nether wing, and no stone. So I think I'm gonna keep the crease nether wing just in case he plays you know he goes by on the board. Because most of his minions are gonna be low health minions anyway, so um, it would be pretty good in that case. Uh, but he actually plays the, the, priest, the Priestess of Fury. And I actually bounce it, the Dragon Queen, you know, just for um, more tempo next in. Once I play it, I get two more free dragons. And I could play the Priestess pretty easily. I'm thinking, and I'm actually. Yeah, so. I decided to use the base one and now I just have time for one board. I mean unless he deals with this next turn, he's obviously gonna be dead. But he used I beam, one I beam already, so I mean if he has one more I beam. And there goes the Altruist, so um with the amount of um discounted cards from this color pool done. You know, he could actually be able to clear this board. But actually, the positioning of the cards in his hand is pretty bad, so um, he wasn't able to um, make a full clear. And um, I mean, he gives up. You know, if, if those cards came in in a different order, it would have been a different story. If you enjoyed the video, Please like and subscribe and comment below on your thoughts on what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.